<laughs> well, well, well. Welcome to Manual the Wise Guy. This was this is seed one, roll one, and take one. I always do it with one. Oh, you you see me with my little sh breakfast, breakfast, and I wanted to read to you today something unique because today we had a special weekend, didn't we? And we're starting off the week with April thirteenth. Doon, doon, doon. Monday. I love Mondays, don't you? We love all Mondays. But I wanted to read from you this nice little uh, yummy. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know, you know. <laughs> but I wanted, you to, I wanted to show you guys this resource. I've showed it to you before, a while back. I read a couple and did some uh, nice... Nice visual magic tricks. You should check it out. It was done maybe like five months ago, but I wanted to review this one because this is a daily, and we actually gave one of these to a family member. Hopefully, she still watches my videos. She turned 35, and uh, we gave her one of these, and we told her this is a fantastic one. It's from Pastor Chuck. You see my fingerprints. Already taking off the name with my with my fingers, but uh, it's called wisdom for today, and it goes, you know, it's really important if you're gonna go through the scriptures, you should go through all sixty six books. Uh, it's important, and this one it's a devotional, so it takes scripture in order from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And it takes a script, you know, just a daily little dose, a little schnackaroon for uh, each book. And it kind of it highlights things that Pastor Chuck Smith uh, wanted to share with you and me. And uh, let's, let's dive in. You ready to dive in? All right, let's go. <clears throat> it says, first one is, what is man? So what is humanity? I could tell you, and uh, but I want I want to know what the scriptures say. What is, what is man? It says what is man that you should exalt him? So this is actually Job in the book of Job, not Job. Everybody needs a job. I'm talking about Job, Job uh, had a special relationship with God Almighty, and he was communicating with him, asking him a question, Rooney, and asked wanted to find out uh, what God thought of, why what God thought about humanity. And because God has a special heart for us, we have, uh, you'll see uh, as we read the devotional, God holds humanity in a very special place. So it says, what is man that you should exalt him, that you should set your heart on him, on humanity? And that's in Job chapter 7, verse 17. So if you have homework, if you want homework, Start the book of Job and uh, read, read, read. And uh, when you get to chapter 7, you'll, you'll read a little bit more about this in detail. But let me read this to you if you want. Oh, and if you like this content, please subscribe to get further content. And if you want, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. So it says, we... We are each but a speck of dust or a speck of dust called Earth, which orbits around the Sun in a little corner of the Milky Way galaxy. Yet, the scriptures say that God's thoughts towards us are so great, if we could count them, they would outnumber the sands of the sea. That's amazing. There's a lot. Of, there's a, one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, Spencer and Katie, they live right up by off the beach in Malibu. I watch their videos and they're fantastic if you're Disney fans. But they are always going on the beach right now because it's their unsheltered place and they have a special access to a beach where they live. And it amazes me when they're on the beach, each piece of sand is counted by the creator. And each human, each person is counted by the Creator, our Lord. And it's amazing that he uh, is that detailed. 
So it keep going. It says, it is amazing God thinks of us, even more amazing in, in the fact that he magnifies us above plants, above animals, and even above the angels. So Job wanted to know why. So that's an interesting fact. You want to really take take that into fact. Humanity, it, Adam was given dominion, which was control, the power over the uh, the earth. And uh, he kind of screwed it up. Now uh, you might go, well, there's evil out there. Well, it's because Satan is kind of controlling things in the air right now. A lot of uh, shenanigans happening, especially in our day in 2020, as you can tell. Um, that, that wasn't the plan that was supposed to be done. But uh, when shenanigans creep in, then uh, it changes things. So um, we are, we are, he magnifies above the plants, animals, and even the angels. You know that we are even, um, when when we step into eternity, if we're in Christ, we're going to be part of uh, uh, judging the angels. How, uh, the Lord's going to hold them accountable for those that walked away from their their <clears throat> their access to the uh, the throne of God, they want they chose to leave humanity. I mean, sorry, they chose <laughs> they chose to leave access to heaven and do shenanigans down here, and uh, and that's uh, that's why we see a lot of shenanigans now. But he holds us very high, and that's why every human every person is is uh, unique. Wonder fearfully, wonderfully made, and very um, valuable. Well, he did make you in in nine months in your mother's womb. That's a long time. I talked about that in another video. It still blows my mind that we were that we were uh, knitted in our mama's womb, and you know, really, our parents. They couldn't choose our hair color, our eye color before we started messing around with the DNA stuff, but he chose it, and uh, it's pretty amazing because he he has a plan and a purpose. Yes, I said purpose. So let's keep going. It says it is God's way. He he. Whenever our life is yielded to God, He magnifies that person. That's true. You know when we focus on Him. He'll, you know, uh, when we honor him, he'll honor us back, which is a sweet relationship when you really think about it. When we tend to honor people and just care about them and think about their their needs, they'll, uh, you know, normal people will people with, with kind hearts will reciprocate that back, and that's what the Lord does. If you if we just get in a right relationship through Jesus. Through the Holy Spirit, we're able to have access to the Father again, just like the the special relationship that Adam and Eve had with uh, the Lord in the Garden before the fall of man, before sin came and death came into the into the whole world. Let's continue. It says God makes a person greater than they could ever be apart from His working. God does this because He loves us. He loves us so much. Again, he gave his only begotten son who became what we were in order that he might make us what he is. And um, if you've been watching my the videos lately, we just celebrated a fantastic um, weekend, but it doesn't finish if you're if you're uh, if you're just if you just only celebrate Easter, then it's over, you know the celebration. But if you celebrate Passover with me, there's um, there's still time. They're still uh, celebrating the, um, uh, the 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 death, burial, and resurrection. There's still there's still time for for the Passover uh, and unleavened feast of unleavened bread and first fruits. They're still celebrating that, so it's kind of fun. I, I always when when the, that holiday of Easter comes, it goes so quick, but with Passover, it's it's like a week long. Yeah, so it's it's a lot more celebration about um, my favorite time. One of my favorite times of the year. My other favorite time of the year, obviously, probably yours, 
during Christmas time. I call it Christmas time. But that's one of our other favorite big holidays. Coincidence is that he's involved in that one too. So it's good. It's, I think those are two very important holidays. And there's a lot more that we'll talk about later. That when we get dive into the Feast of the Lord, there's so much more celebration that uh, not everyone knows about. But uh, let's continue here. It says, and thus God develops and trains us. He allows and tri- He allows trials and disappointments, because He knows that is the only way to prepare us for eternity. Like Job, who went through a time of testing. Ooh, testing is it's tough. So you want to get a you want to get it over with, learn, get it over with, so you can move forward. Because you don't want to stay in testing. It's oh. Did you know that? Uh, when the Moses and the people of Israel were going through the wilderness for forty over forty years, for about forty years, it was only supposed to be, I think, a couple of weeks travel. But it, there's there uh, there's a lot of testing that and, and things that went on that um, extended it. And I realized, oh, I don't want to extend something that's not meant to be extended. I want to learn and keep and move forward. I don't want to keep messing around with the same old stuff. I want to learn the first time and get and move on. I think it's very important to to grasp that. It'll help you in the long run. All right, let's continue. Um, but each loss is part of God's eternal plan as He prepares us to be with Him forever, in eternity. In eternity, think about this for a moment. It's outside of time. If I had my my little watch, I'd be. We always look at our watch or. Look at a calendar. We're always trying to look at what what time it is, what day it is. In eternity, it's outside of time. Think about that for a moment. That's a mind blower when you really think about it. It's a uh, you have to really uh, do a little bit of research to really know what that means. Outside of time, we're always you know we're, we live in this timeline of life, but. Uh, when you're outside of time, it's it, it's totally different. That's why uh, there's oh when you study start studying Chuck Missler, if we start studying together, I can really explain to you what uh, you know. We really see things in like f- four dimensions, but in, in eternity, who who knows how many dimensions that could be? You know, because we're uh, it could be ten dimensions or more. And we only get four. We only have access to four. It's, you know. You might be why? Why is that? Because of the fall. The fall happened. Sin came into the world. Death came in, into our lives, and it's, it really hijacked things. But that's why it's important to put your parachute on. Really understand who who Jesus is, and uh, make that decision. You got to make it. You can't can't fiddle with that. And uh, if you just say, uh, you know what, I'm willing to give you uh, uh, my ear to understand and. You know, put my my presuppositions. I don't know if I said that right, but you know, whatever you thought before, put it aside for a moment and hear hear God out for a moment. And in the, the scriptures, He'll tell you. He'll be honest with you. He'll give you facts that will impact you for now and all you know forever. So it's important to give Him that shot to to make His uh, make Himself known, and then. I think he'll open your eyes to it. He'll make it make sense, and that's what—that's the job of God, the Holy Spirit. He will help you understand. Really, when you have when you say yes to Jesus, I realize this. When you say yes to Him, He comes with a package deal, he, which is exciting. Which what I what I'm trying to say is, when you say yes to Jesus, you're actually saying yes to God the Father, and then you're also saying yes to God the Holy Spirit. Which is fantastic, because then you'll, that's that's who God is, the maker, the creator. So it's kind of like in a sense of, um, you know, obviously Jesus, if Jesus is our bridegroom, and we're going to be the bride of Christ, if we say yes to him, when you get married, you get family, you inherit family members, <laughs> and uh, that's kind of what I feel, we're in, we, are, we get to be part of the family of God, and... Uh, it's very interesting. I think very differently, I guess. You probably figured out after a couple of videos, I think things 
through. But let's continue. Let's finish this up. <clears throat> so it always starts with the title, the scripture verse, and then it gets uh, some thoughts, a little uh, highlight, a little bit more maybe explanation, and then it ends with uh, just, I think, a communication. They call it prayer. And just I think it's just from Pastor Chuck's heart. He wanted to kind of tie it with a bow and make it sh make it um, where we uh, are. I guess it's important to be thankful, to be humble, honor, and uh, you will be honored back. So it says, Father, thank you for your faithfulness to mold us into the person you want us to be. And to take away anything which would destroy or defile us. Ooh, that could be many things. And we have to get, we have to weed our life out. There's weeds that are coming out, springing out in our life. We have to take some time and snip, snip, snip. Because it could, it says it could destroy you. And how thankful we are that you have set your heart on us. May we walk in that love Amen. Well, I hope you like this video. Tomorrow, oh, should I give you a sneak peek? Oh, should I give you a sneak peek for tomorrow? Well, I would encourage you, if you want to read along, you should go on to maybe Amazon, eBay. You can get this thing. Uh, this is a hardcover book. This is kind of a harder to find. Uh, but you can get the paperback book. But it also comes in a brown leather cover my wife has. But I would encourage you, you should go to either Amazon, eBay, or even the Word for Today website and get a copy so we can read together. Maybe we'll do some more. And then if you like this video and if you want to continue doing this daily, maybe you can't uh, get this book. Maybe you can't hold a book. Uh, you know, that's maybe uh, maybe that's uh, this video can help you with that, where you can just take part and drink your coffee. That's actually not my coffee. That's lemon water she's making me drink, which is going to uh, help my immune system. Uh, but you can drink your coffee and have your little breakfast or, or whatever. Uh, and I can read to you and, and show you visually too. So you don't have to get the book, but I would encourage you because uh, it's a great resource that you're going to, I think, want to continue using for a while, for a long time. So I'm glad that you uh, took the time to, if you reached this part of the video, congratulations. I'm very happy. <laughs> you spent almost 18 minutes with me. That's fantastic. Well, I'm glad that you took this time with me and uh, to the next video. It is, this video, it is finished. <laughs>